So we start here. We start there. We start here. We are. Uh, we already uh, recording, <laughs> so it's okay. Wow. Oh my god. So they are all under construction. Under construction. You know, a lot of places in Shenzhen they are not like this anymore. When I see this, I'm still like, wow. Yeah, this is uh, true. You know, I uh, in China the base salary is a little different from the other countries. For example, <laughs> if actually for example like Brazil, the basic salary is the, is the same for the whole country. But in China, depend on the city, like in Shenzhen, because you need to spend more money to live, and then the salary will be higher. Then in countryside, it will be lower. I think you are at lower. In, in Brazil, is it very expensive to live there? Yeah, everything is expensive, but I think renting fee is cheaper than here. Greek renting fee is cheaper than here. Yeah. Oh, man. In fact, I... China, renting fee is very, very expensive. Yes! Yeah, my <laughs> man! I got Man, I need to do like... I need to get a couple more contracts before I can like fully be comfortable with myself. Because mm. I, when I do the DIY projects, it takes so much time and oh, money. Yeah. And I am very grateful because my followers, they are very supportive of what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, how do I pronounce your name? Is it in Portuguese? No, in fact, it's a nickname. Nickname? Yeah. In fact, my nickname is Simi. Simi? Yeah. But my real name is Simi Cha. Simi Cha. Is yeah. that a Brazilian name? Yeah, it's a Brazilian name. But it's very hard for people to pronounce it. So I just tell everybody, just call me Simi, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't care about how people look at me and what they think about. My aunties and uncles, they always smile at me. In Shenzhen, everybody is civilized. And if they want a picture, they can get a picture. Yeah, I, I think this is very different from my country. For example, because in my country, usually they will be more, I'll say, what to talk to. If they see, they will shout out some words like, Oh my God, you are so hot, or something like this. But in China, they are very respectful. Yeah. I guess usually when they see and they like, they will stop and look. And most of the case, they will take some photos, but that's it. Usually they will not speak out any dirty words or something. Yeah, they don't judge. They, they think they find you fascinating, right? But they are also very open-minded. They yeah. don't mind. Like a lot of people, Chinese, work all day long or mostly overwork, and I'm like, I think it's the most interesting thing they see all day because it's different. Yeah. So they are not objectified to the idea of being strict. They yeah. just they won't do it on themselves. But yeah. They don't mind other people doing that. Yeah, this is true. In foreign countries, I don't. I don't dress like like I dress down. I don't. I, I'm more conservative. Like in Thailand, they are, uh, they are Buddhist, so I dress down. They're more conservative. Like adapt to the culture, the environment. But in China, you know, it's especially in Shenzhen, we're all about innovation. Yeah. And innovation means you need to have eccentric people. With eccentric people, you create different things, right? Yeah. Something creates something new. Oh, I have some music. <laughs> I, I don't know about dogs with shoes. I love dogs and love dogs. I feel so Yeah, you have a little, what is it called? Uh, Miru. Miru. He is a Pomeranian. Oh, yeah, Pomeranian. 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 Oh, my, oh, my God. Pomeranian. Ah, yeah. you see, this is one place I think we can show for people. Yeah, definitely. You see? Oh my God. Like a... Okay, we are wearing, we are both wearing, you know, we are not wearing high heels today, we are wearing black shoes. I think people can look up and then they can see the windows and they can see all the pipes. Usually the buildings uh, outside China will not have the pipes like this. And you know, it's so cool. strange that they, they changed the old lock to the new lock with the car. Yeah. The building is still, you know, kind of, and they have the IT cameras yeah. and stuff. They upgraded, you know, kind of, this gives me kind of cyberpunk view. It's kind of, you sort of living in a digital world, but also, you know, it's so and old. It the <laughs> oh, I remember those times. When I was a kid, my grandmother put those in uh, outside on the balcony also. Uh, and people hanging their clothes outside. Yeah, man, when I was in America, they just dry their clothes in the washing machine, but mm. in I Asia, mean, they just, just don't hang it everywhere, right? <laughs> they, they were just like, oh, put it in, and then it dries instantly. I'm like, oh. Yeah. But in Asia, it's more about um, natural, natural wind and stuff. I'm like, you put it, the next day it's dry. Like places in Brazil, I don't know, in Brazil, is it very hot every day? 
you know, in Brazil it's like a crazy. Sometimes in the same day you can have the four four seasons. Like really? <laughs> sometimes wake up and very cold and the sun is very hot and then suddenly start to rain and then you don't know. Wow. Yeah, look at this place. They have all IP cameras but Yeah, like you said, the technology mixed with the old style stuff. So. Oh, are we in in Maybe it's one else place. Yeah, we should turn around. We should turn around from here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we are like this only for one one people at a time, I think. This one. Oh, for me, I feel very afraid about dark. It's like, oh my god, it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's a dead mouse. Yeah, dead mouse. Yeah, yeah. If I live here during the day, I think it's okay for me. The problem really? is, the problem is really if I need to live here at night to come back to work, I think I will be very scared. Yeah. Wow. You see, and I feel very interested in this kind of place because usually we just think like this: oh, only live poor people. But uh, later, if we go to the other side, usually we have the parking parking feet or parking lot. And in the parking lot, you can see very, very good cars. So in fact, I found out many of the Chinese people don't have money to to live in a better place. But some of Chinese people, they still live here because they want to keep oh, in. I, I, I want to a place like this, like a shop house. But it's so hard to find this place in China. Oh. I wonder if I can. Man, if, yeah, I need an apartment like this because, you know, all the equipment I have at my apartment is crazy. Yeah, you're getting crazy. Very big machines. Yeah. I have tons of machines. I think you should uh, move near my place. Near my place is it's quite nice. It's not like this, very old style. And uh, it's cheaper because it's just far away from everything. <laughs> but it's too far. You, you saw in the map, right? If it's, oh, yeah, the place is like two hours. Let's go inside from here. Let's get out from here. Oh, the girl feels free. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, and then there's a guy behind us, suddenly, jumped into us. Uh, yeah, water. I used to, you know, drink water from the big bottle, but now I only I get the Xiaomi filter. It's so good. Oh, I never tried. The Xiaomi filter is good. In fact, Xiaomi is one brand in China. It's kind of developing very fast, and their product is becoming very good. In the beginning, I was a little in doubt because, like, mobile phones will break very easy and things like that. But it, these days, I think it's only quality really improved a lot. Yeah, it's always like I don't know if their after after sales um, service can be a little bit dodgy, but mm. they they rely on their tech. Their tech is good, so I always I I'm, I'm my big fan of Xiaomi. They're not sponsoring this video, but yeah. <laughs> I use a lot of their products. Have you drink soup from pop like this in China? I tried once. I only try when when Chinese people is like with me because usually I cannot order. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just because I cannot speak Chinese, then if the menu don't have the photos, it's a little hard for me to order something. Oh, very good. <laughs> Some because some restaurants, not all the restaurants have two, like file language menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like, have you tried something like this? Like, um, how do I say this? We call it liang ban, like a Sichuan flavor of, of um, they mix the vegetable in chili oil and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. I usually I like to try Chinese cooks. Some of them I like. Some of them is too spicy for me. Yeah, I got I got allergy if it's too spicy too. <laughs> And this one doesn't have any spice, just uh, they use this a uh, soy yeah. sauce to boil thing, boil the chicken and chicken gel. It's very pretty. Because this kind of bread I like a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, this tastes pretty good. When I was a kid, every day before I go to school, I would get some of that. Yeah. I think it's from Dongbei. And this kind of store, man, it reminds me of America, not China. Because when you go to Chinatown, you see a lot of this bakery store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when you come back to China, a lot of stores are becoming more 
westernized <laughs> and then and like like Baozi and stuff buns only exist in this kind of alley. Like if I want to eat it in my neighbor, it's very hot. Yeah. 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 And this is how they make it. This is how different kind. There's one ton, one ton skin, and there's noodle, there's dumpling skin. So go ahead, make a noodle. All the noodle, all are handmade. Yeah, all the powder and stuff. Very interesting. If you would like to see more of Simi, you can find her YouTube channel in the description box. Wait. Eu sou a Simi, sou uma brasileira descendente de japoneses e moro aqui na China. Se vocês gostam de tecnologia e de saber um pouco mais sobre a China, eu convido vocês a visitarem o meu canal. O link vai estar aqui na descrição e se você não é inscrito, já aproveita e se inscreve e deixa o like aqui no canal da Naomi, a nossa querida e mais fofa high-tech girl da China. E para aqueles que gostarem da nossa parceria, deixe aí nos comentários também. Um super beijo, uma ótima semana e eu vejo todos vocês lá no meu canal.